Professional tennis player Maria Sharapova's 24-month suspension was reduced to 15 months. Sharapova tested positive for meldonium. Do you think, Sydney, that justice was served with the reduction in her suspension? Of course not. Of course not. It wasn't served. And I think um, it, it's unfortunate that they reduced her sentence. She should have served out the entire two years. They need to send a message to pro athletes and say we will not tolerate the use of these drugs. So, I mean, either you're going to have a rule or you're not. If we're going to let players, you know, go back and forth and, you know, appeal and all this other crap, what's the use of having a rule in the first place? So, Yeah, she and her camp have been very vocal about this. It almost goes to show you, like, that if you complain about something long enough, you might actually get your way. Get your way. I completely agree with Sydney. If you if you do the crime, you got to do the time. And I, I, I think that it's ridiculous. I think if her name wasn't Maria Sharapova, she'd still be serving her sentence. Right. Well, I'm going to be a little contradictory. You know, a contrarian on this, on of this, <laughs> on this Why one, you? Uh, quickly, because I think that justice was served just by the rules. A two-year ban meant that she had she intentionally took the drug. Her team was able to poke enough holes in the procedures at the ITF, and that created that doubt. And that because they were able to sort of prove or put cast doubt on the fact that she intentionally took it. That's why her sentence was reduced. And in that sense, it's fair. No, now, no. according to my eye test, it's very murky. She's looking very suspect because her inner circle, including her trainers and coaches, didn't know she was on taking the drug. She never revealed it on any of the forms that the Tennis Federation requires them to fill out, asking what kind of medication. She said that she ignored an email. She didn't read it. And then... You know, when I was reading a little bit about what meldonium is used for, it doesn't seem to match some of the ailments that she said it she is the reason why she was taking it. So my eye test means she she got away with one. But so why are you saying it's okay and justice was be, served? Because by <laughs> the spirit of the ban, the twenty four month ban, it was that she intentionally did it. And based on everything her team, you said, based on everything team, you said, Based on your I'm eyes. Not on, I'm, based not on your on eyes the, I'm not on based the panel. On, based on I'm your eyes, it was panel. done. Based on your eyes, it was done. But I'm not on the panel. I know, but based on but, your eyes, but that's go not with the your point. eyes. That is that's the point. That's not the point. That is the point. The spirit of the, the spirit the, of the law the is that just like was, you saw it, everybody else no, saw it the same way. The spirit said, like Mike said, if it weren't her, go, maybe. Are you gonna just let me talk? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Keisha. So the the 24 month ban was based on the principle that she intentionally took the substance. She intentionally ignored a, the a email. Role. She ignored the email. She didn't write stuff on form. But she she did everything that one would do who took something, but they didn't want anybody else to know they took it would do. So I mean, obviously, I don't know. To me, um, it's no, another example of uh, somebody getting off. I mean, I think the team did their job, so we're going to agree to disagree, but I'm still right.